that uh, I, uh, um, I recorded something yesterday that I want to share with you that is about balancing the higher self uh, with uh, the mind, with the ego mind, the heart mind with the ego mind or the higher self with the, with the mind, with the ego. So I was walking in the forest and, uh, and then of course in the forest when I meditate after when I walk it's a lot of ideas coming and I have a lot of conversation with, my, with myself, my higher self. And so when I go to the forest, I usually don't take telephones with me. But when I take, I always take a telephone like this because this is like really nothing in comparison with this. So uh, I can feel it. So, so uh, um, I, don't, I don't feel anything with this. And this one, I can feel sometimes that is like, like uh, affecting my, my fields. So, so what I do is uh, when I have something coming in my mind, uh, like last time I did this also, I, I start recording myself. So the quality of the video is not good, but you always you can see my mouth speaking, but the message is, I believe, pretty good to, to listen. And uh, I hope it serves you and uh, much love. Have a beautiful week and uh, I see you around here. Yes. Okay. Ciao. Okay. So. I'm having this conversation after doing a meditation in the morning uh, with a conversation with my higher self, so I feel it's good to record this conversation with my higher self, between my mind and my higher self. I'm in this stage that I'm uh, asking uh, my mind to uh, conceive the fact that I am all that I am. I am God. Everything that is out there is also within me. And it is something that my higher self already knows that is totally aligned with this, which is also what you call the fifth dimensional existence. And yet the mind, at times, it finds reasons to go back to things that is used to, the comfort zone. So how I deal with that is usually I, I, go, I go within and uh, I speak to my, uh, to my ego mind and say, okay, uh, mind, I'm listening to you. Uh, I love you and uh, you're not in control here. Here in control is the higher self. And uh, right after that, I, I engage in the conversation and part of this conversation right now is what I'm sharing with you now. So uh, I'm into this stage where I'm, 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 I know that, that uh, the junk DNA in our body is not junk DNA, it's uh, a DNA that is being activated as we speak, as more light is flowing through our body mind spirit, spirit complex and um, and I'm also I'm asking my mind which part of the mind is that uh, does not yet want to conceive this part of uh, existence and to exist as a higher self completely and unconditionally to be in 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 24/7 in existence of unconditional um, love for everything and all, without being affected and without engaging anymore in any of, of uh, low vibrational uh, uh, thinking, and 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 so to create what is mother's divine plan and what is what is for the highest good for all so for myself and for all because you first also need to love yourself and then engage also for the highest good for all so it goes it's a win-win situation so so it's, it's all about sharing it's all about sharing our light so so being loving and uh, no matter what arises within so it's it's about making peace between my higher self and my mind in a way that that um, that I feel it's uh, it's uh, what I feel it's I'm really an eye aligned with source at all times. So so I'm asking my mind um, 
is it possible that we create a new uh, nerve system, new neurons, that uh, they they uh, will be able to create these uh, realities uh, that I, I, I wish, I desire, uh, with more ease, grace, and flow, and uh, create these paths in my mind that connect directly with uh, the higher consciousness, the new uh, cells, new neurons, new cells that develop these connections and eliminate all that doesn't longer serve, and so eliminate all memories and all attachments and everything that is no, no longer necessary for the creation of the new, because the creation of the new, uh, we have seen it all around us, everything that's around us is a creation of uh, the human mind, the human collective mind. And so if we want to change our reality, even for better outcome, we, we in our personal life, and then for the collective, we need to take uh, responsibility of our mind and and engage in this conversation. I mean, this is this is actually uh, my way of doing it. Uh, it's it's, uh, to, it's it's nice to have this conversation and to uh, intend always to be aligned to, with herself uh, at all times. So uh, so I'm continuing this conversation now with my mind. So uh, I will uh, be sharing it right now here. Uh, there will be some silence because I need to to listen to the message and then I can share it with you. So please allow me some time to engage in this conversation now with my higher self. It's interesting because as I'm sharing this message with you and as I speak in this way, I I feel like I am uh, totally aligned now with Source. There is no more resistance in me. It's totally gone. So it's, it's, it's a win-win situation, like I say. Like I'm doing this first for myself and then by sharing with you what is taking place, I have come to a place now that is totally neutral and center to my to my consciousness, my Christ consciousness, and so there is there is no there is no thought. It's it's just a it's 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 just an awesome feeling to be in this place where where uh, the thought is not anymore existent, and it's just this is the moment that we allow more of the energy to flow through and and create, and also can also it's also share it. Like with intention, then it flows through and also share it with uh, where we are in, in our homes or in, in our families, in, in, in our village or towns or cities, or countries, planet, uh, solar system, galaxies. So it's, it's the notion of that of that that I am God, I am, I am all that I am means that that I I I, I can expand in 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 all dimensions and I am all that I am. So. So this notion is that we are God and we are carrying this 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 within us, and it's about collective consciousness. It's also within us, and then as we make this work for ourselves and feeling it, the alignment with it, then we create this uh, this beautiful outcome and realities all around us. So it's like this is the gift. We are the gift. This is like I am all that I am, and then the gift is just. The the uh, um, vibrational currency we we feel into our guts. It's a feeling of 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 uh, allowing of uh, no resistance, hundred percent no resistance. It's uh, pure joy. It is uh, release. It feels like release. It feels true connection. It feels uh, clarity. It feels uh, gratitude from source for uh, for being here. It feels gratitude from source. 
the source that I am. And then it's like a nice ping pong taking place between me and me, which is also you and me. Because as I say, I, I, I love me, I love you, I love you, I love me. So it, it goes, it goes, it goes both ways. And, and it, it's, it's about, it's about forgiveness also. It's about 100% forgiveness of the self and of all others. Because when you forgive yourself 100%, then you also forgive all others, everything around us, no matter how the labels of bad or good, because bad or good is just a creation of the mind living in separation. So when you connect with higher self and then there is a merge, a merge together, the higher self and the mind, there is no more, there is, there is, there is no more duality. There is no more separation. It's just one. And this, and this is what is currently happening that the more we we, uh, we are doing this work with ourselves, and especially also when we intend to share our energy, intention to share the energy of flowing out a light from within to the planet for peace, for harmony, for love, for the collective, then it, it's coming back to us a thousand, thousand fold. So it's like, it's like um, yes, it's good to do this for the self, and then the sharing is even assisting even more to, to the feeling of fulfillment of our bigger connection to creation, to source creation. Because God, I am all that I am. It's it's gonna be always never finishes. It's always gonna be more and more coming every day, more feeling of love, and it, it happens with. It's a gradual process, and uh, we can absorb as much light as we can, and then, and then we can be that much aware of who we really are uh, each and every moment. So, so it's the art of allowing, allowing more love and light to come within. And this is basically now my my higher self speaking to you. Um, you may feel that it's like uh, when I speak to you, there is like a portal, fifth-dimensional portal opening right now here. That is, uh, um, that is. You may feel it just as I speak. It's there. It's open. So, so this is what happens. We when we when we uh, connect with ourselves and uh, totally release any resistance and totally allow and. Staying into this awesomeness of, like Abraham Hicks says, that I really love. I love her, uh, her work, and she says to, uh, she she shares in her uh, channelings uh, to feel the awesomeness of uh, non-resistant thought. So this is really beautiful to, to feel the awesomeness of non-resistant resistant thought. So um, so as I as I rest into this this place, this is what what true change happens in my reality and in the, in the reality of those around me because I'm affecting the whole around me, I'm affecting all energies, all, all people around me and all, all, all the my environment because my environment adapts to what I feel from within. So it's like my, my matrix is changing from what I radiate from within out. So, so as more and more of us remember the power that we have, as divine beings, as God creators, the more uh, this shift will happen in more accelerated, accelerated ways, and this is what's taking place on the planet. Like the virus that came on the planet, it was just the beginning of this change, the tangible beginning of this change, and now the, re the rest of changes are, are coming, like the new financial systems and uh, and all this, and then and, and then all this, all this, all this. Uh, how can I say all this contrast to my experiencing at times when we uh, watch the news and we want to try to to captivate by what we see in the media what's taking place what actually is happening is is that we we distract ourselves from our connection with our God within higher self and then by trying to 
to see tangible reality around us, which is not bad. I don't say it's a bad thing to observe, to be an observer, but at the same time, to not allow this energy, what, what we observe all around us, to affect how we feel. So, so this is very important. And so, and so, when the collective is always trying to to always go to see for tangible uh, uh, changes in the environment at all times and then condition it in a way, then then there is a resistance in in the creation of the new. I know from some time ago when uh, when Prime Creator shared in, in, in a channel in a message, uh, Prime Creator said that uh, if uh, everybody on the planet, all 8 billion people, will take the time together to breathe in and breathe out synchronistically nine times, the whole planet is shifted to a new reality in a glimpse of an eye, like that. Like, like really, it literally is like literally and, and tangibly like this. So... This is about that. It's about a reality changing and about going to realities where is, there is more joy and there is more respect of, of the self as sacred, which means more sacred work on a daily basis, more meditations and more uh, inner work and uh, inner journeys for each and everyone so they find the true self to remember who we really are. And as we do that, then there are communities being created in these communities there is different interest because we also have to embrace the differences of one another. This is the beauty of this. So we are one with the source, but at the same time we are different. So we all have our gifts to bring and these gifts are coming forward as we speak. Each and everyone have their own gifts. And uh, the children are coming now. They, they are really going to be showing us the way in, ama in amazing, amazing, amazing paths. Uh, they are the ones who also will have to be totally respected, whatever their ages are. They will be speaking like adult, and they're really adult people, and they really they really know what they speak of. So it's it's all about understanding the value of the soul. And even the the younger ones of the coming generations, they they really have a lot to say. So we need to to step back and uh, have an open ear for for the uh, the message that's coming from them. What else, higher self? What else can I share here with you, with my all my friends here? Yeah. So, so also it's about that. that when I'm when I'm sharing something with you, I do not I do not mean to be right at all costs. So please take what here resonates with you and leave all the rest. Uh, this is something that is is happening during my, my in my own pace. Of evolution, so everybody have their own pace. So, so it is it is not hundred percent absolute what I say. We are all creators, and so we are all different. And so, there are some things that you may add, some things you may take away, and then you can feel uh, probably between the lines or between the words that is that is there is a part of truth because truth. It's not something that you might can conceive. Like I said before, it's something that we can feel. You can feel it through the love and the joy it brings you, and through the the uh, the this uh, inner connection that it 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 it, it uh, you feel you feel attunement, you feel resonance with the words I'm sharing sharing with you. I feel that this is enough for now. I, I, I'm going to enjoy this, the rest of the, the, my walk here with, in total silence. And um, I, I feel it's not necessary to share with you this silence. <laughs> I hope that it serves you. And uh, much love.